Now, we've got a very disturbing clip of a woman who suffered a home break-in. It's hard to understand the brutality of someone who would do something like this. But we need to show this sort of thing just because people cannot imagine that they would ever need to be able to protect themselves from other people because they can't imagine, since they would never do something like this, they can't imagine somebody coming into their home and doing something like this. This is just amazing. The children are right there on the couch, and he is just hammering her over and over again relentlessly. I mean, he's not after, after merchandise there. He, he's just going after her, brutally throwing her down the stairs, beating her in front of the children. Now, we have an Operation Paul Revere entry that I think kind of speaks to this in a really good way. Let's take a look at that. Growing up, did you have guns around your house? No, we never had guns around the house. We just never felt like we needed them. What about you? When we were growing up, there were no guns in the house because we can always call the police if we need help. Did you uh, serve in the military at all? In my family, there were none of us in the military, and we just uh, never did have any interest in joining. If someone was trying to break in or rob you, um, you would you would rather the police handle that? Yes, if I had a break in, I would prefer dialing 911, waiting for the professionals to come and try to find a, a way out of my home, either by negotiation or uh, just fleeing out an opposite door or window. I think guns are bad. They do kill a lot of innocent people. And we have professional law enforcement people to uh, enforce our laws and to protect us. And we, there's no need for homeowners to have guns. Citizens should not have guns. Now, this is just a few days later, it says on the video. And what happens is they have an intruder. Let me get the glasses. Really master bedroom. We've cut this a little bit to try to fit this in so you get the general idea of the video. All the other joining doors. Now she's locking the master bedroom. And right now he's on the phone to 911. And she said, be quiet. Now, what they do now is they rewind this, just like it's a tape, and we go back and we say, what if? And this is something that we all want to think, what if that woman had been armed? Growing up, did you have guns around the house? Yes, we had rifles, shotguns, <laughs> pistols. Uh, they were not in a safe. We, uh, we were taught as children not to play with guns, that they were dangerous, and we never played with guns. Yeah, we had uh, guns around the house, and we used it to go hunting for food. We had several guns, one double barrel and one once. 22. We, we listened and we knew guns could kill. And even as kids, when we played cowboy and Indians, we knew we couldn't play with the real guns. We had to use our cap guns. Did you serve in the military? Yes, I served in the military. I was in the U.S. Navy and the U.S. Air Force. Now here we are, played back with a different approach. This time they're armed. Alarm. <laughs> and that has a little bit different resolution to it. They actually put on their bulletproof vests and they start to hunt the intruder. 
He does call 911, but he is not helpless, waiting for some help to come. He takes care of himself. It's the difference between self-reliance and being a victim. It's amazing to me that women are not the strongest supporters of the Second Amendment, because it's the only way that a woman is ever going to have an equal chance. Women and the elderly, as they show in that video there. Excellent video from Operation Paul Revere. Uh, we've got a lot of really good entries. We're going to be showing them. Hopefully we'll have the site up by next week. Uh, we'll have a lot of Paul Revere entries for you to take a look at. You'll be able to comment on them. You'll be able to vote on them. And that full video is there. You'll be able to see how that ends. We edited that up quite a bit for the news tonight. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.